All right, welcome to the final part of uh, the tutorial series, how to make a character in Mo12 or Anime Studio. Um, in this final part, we are uh, going to cover some last few uh, steps that you can add uh, in order to make a uh, character um, that uh, is ready to animate. Um, so what we are going to cover is uh, smart bones, um, blend morphs, and um, mouth movement with switch layers. So first uh, we start with smart bones and we can use it, this for several things. Uh, for One is for when you have to bend uh, the arm um, right here. Um, if you have seen um, the previous tutorial how to, um, how to add bones to a character, um, you know that by bending it the arm is bending. But like I said in the tutorial, um, it, isn't, it isn't bending like we want. As you can see, the shadow is... Um, the, the shading and the light doesn't bend the way we want. And um, the arm itself as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I do have to say that um, if you have... Um, if you have followed the entire uh, series of tutorials, um, you should know that I have drawn shading on a separate tutorial right here, and I have removed some points. Um, as you can see, um, in the first tutorial, of, in the third tutorial, I showed you there were a lot of points, and I just removed the ones who we could remove because the few the fewer po points we have, the better. Um, so. Um, we go to the bone layer right here and we select the bone that we move to bend which is this one right here um, <clears throat> if you select the bone um, the name of the bone will appear right here which is B6 um, now you can give it a name um, yourself so let's say you would name it right arm low um, that's going to be the name of the bone. So um, what we are going to do, we are going to actions. <clears throat> and we make an action by clicking right here. And it already appears um, the name, the action name is right arm low, which is exactly the same as the bone. And that way this action will automatically be connected to um, this bone. So. On frame one, right here, you bow this bone. And then we are going to make changes on the arm and the light and shadows. So let's start with the arm first. So we need to make it this a little bit sharper, maybe make this invisible to see it better. Um, so we'll select this point first, just this point alone. And we take the curvature tool and we just Click on it, hold your mouse and move to the left so it gets sharper. <clears throat> and I'm going to move it a little bit right here. So <clears throat> that way it looks a bit better. Um, I don't know, maybe I just I adjust a few things. Like this. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> So now we have to do the same thing with the light and the shading. So we make that visible. And we just um, have to correct the points. Right here. Like this. And take the curvature tool to make it also to fix this, basically. Okay. Maybe move it like this. Mm, there we go. Now this is gone. As you can see, this takes a little bit longer. But... It definitely works like this. There we go. Then put this point a bit right here. Like this, take the curvature tool and just play around with it. You know, 
Um, maybe make this one as well. This one sharper. Just a little bit like this and There we go. Um, then the light. And I'm just going to speed it up and then I'll be back in a minute. There we go. So as you can see, it now looks like this. Uh, this one is not really that great, but anyway, it's not really that visible. So for now, it's good. So now we are going back to the main line. We're double clicking on it. Then we go back to the bone layer and we take this bone and we move it and as you can see everything is moving correctly as we want. Um, I can see there are a few issues but it doesn't really matter since it's all very transparent and yeah. <clears throat> so there we go, that's how you do it with um, arms or legs or anything that you want to bend um, mostly arms and legs um, there's another then there's another way to use smart bones and that's um, by drawing a bone yourself for it just for that for that smart bone and I prefer to do this for uh, the pupils um, so what you do um, <clears throat> you make sure all the bones are deselected so you deselect it by just clicking anywhere and I zoom in to the eye and I take the add bone tool and I just draw a bone right here. Um, make sure you reduce this, the bone strength by holding your mouse and move to the left. Um, then we go to this one and we name the bone and we call it uh, pupils. Oh pupils um let's see vertical so with this bone we are going to move the eyes up and down below vertical um what i also do is i go to bone constraints and i click on angle constraint constraints so that this um this little line appears um, which is very helpful um, because otherwise it will turn anywhere when you move it and that's not what you want so again we make a new action and we name it exactly as pupils vertical it's automatically doing it itself so the bone is connected to the action um, then um, let's move it right here to up and so we are going into the head layer and then to the eyes which are right here um, make sure we deselect this because we don't want that to be selected then I select this one and then I hold in shift and that uh, means they will both be selected and then I move them right here there we go on frame one again um, then we go back to the main line, um, go back to character, and um, we just move this one. And you see that by moving it up, the eyes will go up. Um, if you want to put the eyes down below, um, <clears throat> you can make a second um, action, and you call it, uh, as you can see right here, pupils vertical 2. So then a second action will be connected to this action uh, or bone I'm sorry uh, and then we move it down below and of course then the eyes will also be moved down below there we go so now you can see um, <coughs> you can move the eyes just by moving this bone and this is very helpful if you want to animate um, you can also draw, uh, what I like to do is draw one also right here to move them horizontal. Um, so all you have to do is call, make a bone, call, the action, call it pupils horizontal and make the actions like I did right here. But it's useful for any uh, type of movement. It's useful for, let's say for instance, um, 
moving, uh, making him look like this, or just make him blink his eye, so you can make a bone for blinking his eye. Um, this is also, by the way, why we designed the eyes like this, because that way we can make him blink like that. Um, so we can do this with smart bones and actions, and yeah, you can just um, draw a few bones and uh, connect them to those actions. But what you can also do is use blend morphs, and blend morphs is basically the same, um, except for um, the only thing that you uh, don't need to do is uh, you need to draw bones. You don't need bones when you use blend morphs. And well, blend morphs is basically um, <clears throat> the same, except you go to um, let's say right here on window blend morphs or Control Shift B. And you can already see that the actions that we created, pupils vertical and pupil vertical 2, are available. And that is because they are both on frame 1. Any action that is created only on frame 1 uh, is able to be moved with blend morphs. If you go further on the timeline, it's not possible anymore. So, back to the main line. Um, what you do is um, you, go, you pick a point in the timeline. Um, let's say frame 30 and I like to I prefer absolute because then it starts from the beginning and what we do we go, take pu pupils vertical and we move it up so you get the same thing again they go up like the action does and then a keyframe is created but um, let's say you want to start make the animation start from right here um, um, and not from frame, frame zero all you have to do is go to that point in the timeline and click this one on default and that way it will go back and you click apply so that way you can also create animation with blend morphs um, Finally, um, there's also uh, mouth movement. Um, you can do it with smart bones, um, but it's yeah pretty difficult. Um, I have made a tutorial in the past about mouth movement, mouth movement using uh, masking and using smart bones. Um, it's uh, not the version, the methods that I prefer, but maybe it's useful for you. So I'll put a link of that video in uh, this uh, in the description. Um, but uh, I prefer to use switch layers and as you can see for the character we have made a switch layer for the mouth right now it's closed of course um, so let's say you want to make him have make him an A sound so all you do is duplicate this one um, right here and we just call it A and we just make a new uh, object but I'm only showing it to show to see how big the, the the form of the mouth basically so what I do I just draw a mouth right here reduce or um, change the line width to one and I change it to exactly the the line right here and this one we don't need anymore so right now the mouth is selected on the A mouth and if we click on closed you get this and then uh, you can choose with it whichever you want so let's say you go to um, the timeline and you put a audio file right here and you want to make him talk all you have to do is um, click on this one right here and then and then right here and then he basically talks so that is how you uh, do it with switch layers I have uh, made more tutorials um, in the past on how to do it uh, more in detail so I will also put links of those in the description as well but anyway, you can make all different uh, types of mouths. Uh, you can make um, O, uh, O, F, or whatever. That's mostly the ones that I do. And all you have to do is just duplicate it and just 
change it like this. So yeah, and well, there we go. That's uh, basically all there is uh, from me on how to make a character in uh, Mo 12 or Anime Studio Pro. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. Um, like I said, if you have any more questions, leave comments and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.